Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have a planner flip through for you. So over the past six months, I've only had hauls come out, but I have plans to do more videos other than hauls, and this is the first of many. So this is my B6 string setup for the holidays and winter. I have not changed this setup since spring. I kept it all summer and all fall. Um, in case you are new to my channel, I had a baby in June and it, you know, as becoming a mom for the first time does for a lot of women, it rocked my world. My whole entire um, world changed and I'm slowly but surely catching up. I absolutely love being a mom, but it has definitely put my planning and my YouTube on the back burner. So. I um, did find some time and set up my new B6 ring setup. I am really, really enjoying it, so I'm excited to show y'all a flip through. I will have all of these shops that I mentioned linked below, but if I miss any or you have any questions, please comment and let me know. Also, I have posted some pictures of my setup and I will post more over on my Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans over there. I am much more active on Instagram currently. Like I said, trying to get a little more active over here. Also, I tried gel strips for the first time. Hopefully on camera they don't look as awful as they do in person. So at least they are painted. Not the best though. So anyways, that's it for a little update. Let's get into the flip through. This is actually a new planner cover. Um, I had done one setup with it, my baby setup. I did not end up using that. I just use the app on my phone. So this cover is from Printpression. It is the like cream white metallic. It's really pretty. It is a snap and I'm really excited to use it. I have been using my other B6 ring cover for almost two years. If I would have kept it through winter, it would have been two years. So excited to have a new one. The elastic was getting really stretched out, so I'm really enjoying the snap closure. So print impression. I do have a planner scarf here. This is from Lane and Alley. It is in her cream color and I just love putting a planner scarf in my winter setups. Just so cozy, not functional whatsoever, just cute. So that is everything on the outside. Also, um, these snap closures do have two different um, snaps so you can um, make a chunky planner a little bit uh, thinner. I actually could use the um, thinner strap, but I've just been using the chunky one. Starting so, over here, I do love the pockets in this planner as well. I did not have all of these pockets in my other ones. Super pretty. I just tucked in this die cut from Scribble Prints Co. here. It's a little evergreen candle. And then I always use my Nightingale Paper Co. Um, Winston die cuts. So that's my December one there. I've got a wide black K and Co. XOXO paper clip there. I don't have anything in these other pockets. I just think they look pretty. So let's move to the actual inserts. So I have actually mixed up the inserts I am using. A little bit different if you've watched any of my other B6 strings flip through. And I'm thinking these are going to be really functional for me. So. My uh, tabs are from Brooklyn Grace Co. They are the white vinyl tabs and then the um, labels that are on here are, I think they are, yeah, I got them from her as well, so Brooklyn Grace Co. Um, I know Kristen of Kristen's Planner does have a discount code for her shop and that is where I found these and they are really nice quality. I don't think they're going to get messed up anytime soon. I actually had to use undo on them and they came off, the stickers came off really nicely. So I'm super impressed and I love the white in this setup. Now for my die cuts, all of these are from Taylor and Tucker. She released them last year in a Christmas line. She, I, her shop is currently on vacation. I don't know if she's planning on coming back. I did have a discount code for her, but I don't know if her shop's going to reopen, but that is where those die cuts are from. This vinyl here is from Customs by Kalo. She is currently on vacation mode as well but this is in her gold and it's obviously my name. I just put it on a piece of acetate and then taped it down with a little Simply Gilded uh, washi on this divider. Super cute. And then I've got this uh, deep green floral clip here. Um, I think this shop is closed as well. This is from Reaping Willows from years ago. 
So this first section, I just named it to do because I put my weekly and my monthly in this section. So I just used to do and um, these are my weekly inserts. They are from Lights Planner Action. They are the week on four page with Task Center. So this is Monday through Friday and my sidebar. I love these inserts. I've been using them for years. Then you've got your weekend and next week's section. And then this is the Task Center. So you have a to buy, errands, and then just space to use however you want or to be creative. Love these. This ruler is also from Lights Planner Action. Um, she has gold and silver, punched or un punched and then I have a wide um, bow from Lily and Lola Co. This is her Lola bow in white. Super, super cute. So I use these inserts all the time and then after this section this is a piece of acetate. Pretty sure this was from a print impression box. 99% sure. It's got some gold bows on it. And then this journaling card is from Shop Jessica Hearts. Just came as a freebie in the order. And it's just super cute. So I didn't go too intense with dashboards. I just punched this uh, journaling card and just put it in here between these two sections. So this is moving into my monthly section, which is also from Lights Planner Action. This was a freebie last year. Um, she did all of the like month um, in like a different floral pattern. Super cute. And then this is a bow from, oh goodness. I want to say it's from Lily and Lola Co. as well. Um, but it's been a few years since I got it. I love that gold color. So these are my monthlies. They are month on to page from Lights Planner Action with the script. Just so pretty. I don't use these functionally. I did previously, but since I had my baby, I really haven't used my monthlies functional, but I do like having them in here just to look at if need be, or I can jot down notes. And then I also use the um, tasks and habit. I just get a pack of these undated and just put one with every month and keep track of my habits. I do love having this. I didn't use it for a few months and I really missed it. So I just fill in the month, fill in my habits, um, important dates. I write down my birthdays, goals. I write down events coming up that month and then I put um, anything I need to remember for the next month. I just decorate it with a little washi. And then I have a little gold paper clip here. This is also from Lily and Lola Co. So that is the end of this section here. I just put a piece of um, paper. This was actually from an old Popco box. Um, that shop is now closed. Um, this really pretty paper here just came in order that I kept. And then this is a, another vinyl from Customs by Kalo with a little Simply Gilded Washi. It says Brood in Athens and it's a little like coffee ring, super cute. And then here I just did a piece of acetate and then I put this uh, custom uh, vinyl also from Customs by Kalo. It says Griffin, that is my son's name. So this is his section. And then I made a little Simply Gilded Washi uh, dashboard here. I used all gold and then this red and this green was from her um, holiday release and then um, the gold inverted bows. So this is my family section. So here, this is a bow clip from Elaine and Allie. This vellum here is from an old Popco kit. And then this is my baby insert from Lights Planner Action. So you can keep track of, um, she has every month. I haven't been great about updating it. I have to go back and do one, two, three, and four, but I did do newborn and five months. And then my son just turned six months. So I'm filling this in as we go, but love these inserts. I actually have pictures printed. I need to fill these in. I'm so excited to have these for the first year of his life. Um, there is a baby bundle if you want like diaper changing and feeding schedules, all of that. I just couldn't keep up with writing it down. Like I said, I'm using an app, but I love this for memory keeping. So that's the baby insert. And then this is so fun. When he starts speaking, you can fill in their first words. And then there's also, um, this said um, taste test, but I just wide it out and wrote first foods we are doing baby led weaning so he is 
eating a ton of food and I've just been filling it out as we go. Our goal is to do 100 foods before one year old. So uh, this is really cool to keep up with that. And then there's also just all of these journaling pages to kind of just journal about what he's doing. Um, I definitely want to get better about writing stuff down because y'all time just flies by. He's already six months old. So love these inserts. This is a little um, Jingle Bell clip. I honestly can't remember where I got it. I want to say it was a freebie in an order again years ago. This is another journaling card from Shop Jessica Hearts. It was a freebie. Super, super cute. And then here I've got a foiled, or this one actually may not be foiled. Oh, it was gold foiled on the back side. I just used the reverse side so it just looks like black stars. I'm pretty sure this acetate was from Scribble Prints Co. And then I put a vinyl here. This one was from, pretty sure this was from Taylor and Tucker last year and it says oh come let us adore him with a silver tree and then i put it with a wide gold paper clip from k and co xo again my divider is from brooklyn grace co and this is my shopping section so here i put this journaling card from lights planner action it's so pretty with her little tagline this is a vellum from again i think this was scribble prints co Another gold paper clip. This is my shopping log insert from uh, Lights Planner Action. I've been using this for over a year. I love it to keep up with my planner purchases, track when they've shipped, when I received them, and when I filmed them. So it's just a super um, basic shopping log. This is a open book or planner clip from Ribbon and Nib. That shop is on vacation mode as well. I'm not sure if she is going to come back or not. I've got another wide gold paper clip here from K & Co XOXO. This is another uh, paper from Popco. And then here, this is my cleaning section. This is a really pretty vinyl that was from Taylor & Tucker last year. I just put on a piece of acetate and uh, taped it down with some gold Simply Gilded Washi. And then I have a journaling card from Scrubble Prints Co. This is my cleaning insert from Creatively Planned. I love this insert. Again, didn't use it for a few months and I missed it. So I'm excited to be back in this insert. I actually just ordered more and hopefully they're gonna be delivered soon. So this insert is a monthly cleaning schedule. So you can, it's here, I'll show you a blank one. So it's just, you can do daily tasks, weekly, monthly. Um, I use this more as a uh, weekly, and these are just weekly things I only do once. These are things I do multiple times in a week. I don't really do anything daily <laughs> other than dishes, but um, yeah, I really love these inserts. I've got this cute little uh, bow clip from Lane and Allie here, and I just uh, um, decorate this with washi and then just with seasonal stickers from my stash. So that is my cleaning inserts. I actually gonna clip all of those together there. And then the back of this section, I actually have anything here, which I've been wanting a more minimal setup, so I really don't mind that at all. And then my last section, I just labeled it lists, but it's actually my reading section. I've really been um, wanting to get back on uh, reading a lot. So this is another journaling card from Shop Jessica Hearts, and it was reading themed, which is perfect. And then I have another Lola bow and a black and white buffalo check from Lily and Lola Co. And I love this vellum. This is from Ribbon and Nib and a black paper clip here. And I just have some um, list uh, inserts. These are from Annie Plans that I got in a print impression box. So it's just a blank list and I just made a key here to keep track of um, the months for the next year and then the colors I'm going to associate with that because I am using these Polaroid inserts from Lights Planner Action as a to be read section. 
So I filled out all of the different boxes with books that, books that I want to read over the next year. Um, I've been keeping a list for a while of a to be read um, list. So I just filled it in on these inserts, which I think is so fun. And then as I read them, I'll color them in and do a different color for every month of the year. And I can just keep adding to this, which I think is so fun. And I'm excited to have this in my planner. So this is brand new and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've also been following a ton of um, book Instagram accounts and just getting some reading inspiration. So that is my to be read and then I just put a black uh, wide paper clip here in case I want to use this for anything else. I think these inserts are so functional. You could do washi swatches, you can do uh, pen swatches, however you want to use these. There's just so many different uses. So I did um, just put out a little section here in case I want to use them for anything else back here. And again, that's why I just labeled this list because I figured if there's anything else I wanted to keep up with, it'd be perfect. So back of this section, I have the other side of this book of vellum. It's so pretty. The colors go perfectly with the setup and yeah, just perfect. So at the back here, I do have my planner scarf. I just have it tucked in the back and then flipped over the front. I do love this setup because you have all of these card slots, a big pocket and a zipper pocket. This planner does not leave my desk, but if there's like stickers I'm currently using or anything like that, I love that I could tuck them in right here don't have anything in there right now but definitely could use it so that is everything in this setup i just love this planner i love how simple it is i do have some pretty bits in here but for the most part it's a pretty simple setup in comparison to my others and i'm just really loving it and i've been pretty good about checking it every day with my sections and it's helping me get back on track and get feeling more normal. So like I said, I will have all the shops that I use linked below. If I miss anything or you have questions, please comment below and let me know. I will have pictures posted on my Instagram. Also, I love how this uh, top game looks with all of these bows. They just are so pretty and cozy. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I have been wanting to make it for a few weeks now and excited to get it out to y'all. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do plan on having more content coming for y'all soon, but for now, there's gonna be some hauls coming and one day I will have a plan with me. But please subscribe, I really would appreciate it. I hope y'all enjoyed, and if you are not already, go follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plants, and I will see y'all guys next time. Bye.